Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Guess what we're having for dinner? We're having tacos and corn on the cob. I've already started my corn and I'm cooking this in my large pot. And I added just a little bit of salt. And then on the left over here, I have my ground beef going because I'm going to be making tacos. So I have my salsa and we're going to be using the mild McCormick's mild taco seasoning and El Paso, the old El Paso. Of course I'm using about a half a pound of ground beef and I got three ears going here in my corn, one for tomorrow. And we're going to be using the El Paso uh, taco shells. So, whoops. So, something always happening in the kitchen. But thank you all so much for joining me on Taste and See today. And so, I'm going to get to cooking. And got my taco or my ground beef on medium high. Well, that's what I'm calling medium high, it's about six or seven. And over here, I got my corn on high. I'm not going to add any more seasoning other than what I showed you. Not adding any more salt or pepper because you know there's sodium in the taco mix. In fact, I checked, so one of them has uh, 300 grams, and then the other one has. But it's at 460, so I think we're going with the El, El Paso seasoning. So, so you just hold on a second. We'll be right back and get our meat brown and get ready to start adding our season. Now, of course, it's going to take a while for, for the corn gets ready. You know, I just kind of cook mine until it's soft. And I do, as I said, put a little um, salt in that. But we're gonna get to cooking. Yeah, I did mention this earlier, but after you cook your meat and you have that you're done, browned, you want to be sure that you drain that fat off it. Yeah, so that grease. And so my taco meat or sauce. That is ready. Now, I don't know if I used the appropriate right saucer or whatever sauce or not, but folks, that is what I'm going for. Sometimes I pick up stuff and my grandson pick up stuff, and I had to go out and get some more taco shells today because I didn't like the spicy ones that he had. He had the taco, I mean the Takis um, shells, and we definitely were not going to do that. Well, I am not. He can eat them. But I had to get me the original kind. So my corn is still cooking. So this is what my meat is looking like. So it's tacos for dinner. And we have one taco to go in the stand up um, shells. So I have the meat along the bottom, a little lettuce. And then some cheese on top, folks. I am going to test one out and enjoy this taco. And then maybe eat one later for dinner time. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.